Yulia Andrychuk died the night of November 14, 2022. She was just 32 years old. She was found on the street, uh, frozen to death. Her parents are blaming Nova Scotia's mental health system. It all began two years earlier. Yulia had been healthy her whole life, but in 2020, she had a mental health incident for the first time. She was taken to hospital and spent two weeks at the QE2's Abbey J Lane Memorial Building. Her mother was made her decision maker, but Irina Andrychuk says her daughter was then suddenly discharged with no medication or follow-up appointments. Me didn't get any help. I mean, not even material, but any help, any advice, what to do, what should we do? After a second breakdown and still little help, her parents wrote a letter to Nova Scotia Health. Everything changed. Julia got attention, she got medications, she was assessed. The parents say Yulia was prescribed medication that was administered monthly by a nurse, and it appeared to be working. But they say the dose was then reduced without any consultation with the doctor, and her parents say her health declined again. We could see she was just rolling down. On November 3rd, Yulia had another mental breakdown. She was taken to emergency, and her parents say she waited three days at the hospital for a specialist to assess her, only to discharge her, saying she didn't need hospitalization. Her parents say a week and a half later, Yulia video called them to say a mental health appointment had been abruptly cancelled. She didn't want to talk. She was not in a good mood. That was the last they heard from their daughter. She died that night. Her parents say the system let her down. They believe she could have lived her life with the right medication. Hospital emergency services just kicked her out and the mental health clinic just didn't care. So if they care, she would be alive. The Minister of Health and Wellness says they are working very hard to improve access to mental health services in the province. I send sincere condolences to that family. We need to understand what happened and we need to use that understanding to do a better job in the future. Alicia Drouse, Global News, Halifax.